Cancer, cancer, modeling, career, music, career, Melissa, Maria, Matilda, Mel Melina, everybody beginning with M, <laughs> even Eminem, a rapping career, a music career, wrapping up a present, wrapping up the past. Some of you are completely and utterly finished with your past and you are physically ready to move on. I keep hearing Mulder or Moles or Molly, or <laughs> hopefully it's not the drugs part, but something like, I'm now I'm finished with all of that. And like, um, yeah, or... Um, uh, Mulder, Mulder Scully, X Files, something to that. So, you, if you're dealing with um, uh, Gemini, anybody that has Gemini on their chart, um, that because um, I nearly called that X Files, okay, but it was something to do with the X not getting over someone going into a connection here and not here. So, there is something like this I'm a model, I'm looking for a contract, or someone's like shiny on the outside and rough in the middle. So like a rough diamond, okay, or a diamond, or a dime, or a dime bar, or like someone that's very attractive to compared to someone that, <laughs> how do I put that one? Someone that, because I'm picking up like someone's a model, okay, um, but I'm hearing like shiny on the outside, but it, I don't know, I'm hear, also hearing shiny happy people, something to do with REM, something to do with the Virgo maybe, but, um, or M, Emma, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Matilda, uh, Melanie, Mel's, Mel's, keep hearing Mel's, spells, Mel spells, um, having a off spell, something to do with having a dry spell, <laughs> some of you could be dry, some of you could be wet and wild, uh, some of you could be Kim, Kim Kardashian is also what I'm hearing, but like having a dry spell, but having also having a wet spell, so I don't know what that is, is that a wet t-shirt competition or something, but like a, a wet t-shirt or a wet tea bag, <laughs> someone's going to tea bag someone, uh, unless you're into two pot or something, two pot none, but something like um, yeah, tea bags, tea bag, tea, tea. Somebody could be interested in someone from Britain, and they're like, would you like some tea? <laughs> would you like some tea? Uh, Timothy, what's I hearing? Tim or Timothy? Um, would you like some tea? Go oh, blimey, you're right there, Governor. Would you like some tea? This came up in another reading where I was kind of pulling off an accent of someone that was British. So you could be into someone that's British, okay? But uh, I definitely keep hearing, would you like some tea? <laughs> or, or Timothy, would you like some more? Would you like some more? Um, yeah, but uh, sorry, butterfly, blah, blah, blah. Move away from the energy, because sorry, but you've been going on about that for the last five, six, seven years. <laughs> but like, uh, yeah, so the Timothy's probably another Timothy, okay? Um, but like, uh, yeah, I definitely keep hearing, I'm a model and I'm looking for a contract. Some of you, it might not be a modeling contract. Some of you, because I'm picking up that someone's really attractive and the other person has everything inside, but the other person has everything on the outside. Meaning like, on the outside, everything is like great and the person I might be interested in has everything that I'm looking for on the inside. It's just a case of pride, okay? So, I don't know, because I'm picking up like I have a contract and I want a contract, and I want a modeling contract, or a music career, or a music contract, or something like that of a spiritual contract. See, I say this with everybody, and it is so true. To heal yourselves from any kind of devastation in life, if you form a spiritual connection with another person, that heals you, because the connection itself heals you from past trauma, right? Because it, it brings everything up. So the way you get away from past is what I call, or what a lot of people have asked, is jumping ship. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, six, somewhere, okay. So jumping ship is like a telepathic connection that you can end up picking up with another person because it's like a phone directory. So as soon as you speak or as soon as you talk with one another, physical communication, that is where a connection can start to build. When it does, the connection of spirit can put that together because I'm picking up like an eight, which would be like a Leo or an Aquarius may be involved, okay. So an eight. As soon as the communication starts you will find the connection builds because you will warm up with somebody. And if you do, the connection heals you from the past. It really does, it really does. So you evolve spiritually and you evolve mentally and it pulls you away. Because even if a connection here is severed, if you don't never really fear connection, okay, then what that does is that pulls you from anything that is, because spiritual ev uh, evolution and connection and anything that is good in your life requires any kind of connection of networking, okay? So how to network is to get in with the right people, okay? But also healing energy is something where you 
heal by another's energy. That's how you heal. Because healing on your own is a very difficult process, but healing from the past is an easier process while making another connection. That's networking. That's spiritual networking. That is callings, metaphysical, spiritual, and all of the above. Okay, And that is also then contracted within anything that the other person has that you don't, and then what you do, the others don't. Because it feels like this shine like shine on your crazy diamond so do a pink floyd or like music or like a career in something is is where you network with a person that you have the same kind of because i'm picking up like we have the same we have the same outlook in life like we see things the same like we're looking for the same thing so it might be a stephen it might be stephen king you can also watch this as a life path seven like myself uh don't forget um but like, or even a number, so sorry for the people who have already heard it, life path number, say seven, add it up to another life path number, you come up with a number. What that is, look for the major kind of card, if that be a two or three or four, Scorpio four, blah, 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 so on and so forth, right? So I'm hearing like, there is something of a model or a contract or a spiritual contract, but all of the above, like a spiritual contract that is waiting to be connected, and through connection, it's re requiring communication. So it's there, and it's there for the taking of what they're saying for you, but there needs to be communication, there needs to be physical interaction at least, okay? Because um, I feel that what my spirit is saying to you is, is that there's this contract, they keep saying a contract. Now this could be a work contract, a spiritual one, and everything, all, all of, in, you know, because because I'm picking up like a package and a bundle, right? And it's a bit like my patron. You just bundle it all in, and it's all there. Okay, so it's kind of like this person has the whole package. Like they have everything that I'm looking for in a person. They have that thing. Okay, so it's kind of like someone here is seeking for that thing. <laughs> Might be me, but like uh, I'm seeking for that thing. I'm seeking for that signal to be giving me a signal, and then when I know. I can then form a connection because there's a waiting energy. It could be a seven, it could be a Piscean energy, but I'm picking up like I'm just waiting, okay? And I'm waiting and I'm waiting. So that could be another seven or another Cancerian energy. And there seems to be this anticipation for this connection that someone may know of, and they're waiting for that connection. And then when it does, that's kind of like when you start to heal, okay? Because like I've said for a lot of you, if y'all keep going back to your past, if you keep reflecting on past, you'll, you'll undo your healing process, right? So if you keep reconciling with your past energies, if you've had separation and you're starting to heal, right? If you go back on your words and you forgive the person and you go back into that, you, you undo all of your healing process that you've gone through. You undo the whole lot, okay? So it's kind of like I'm unwrapping my present, I'm unwrapping my gift of who I really am. If I go back, I pretty much wrap myself up into a bubble and go back into my shell. So Michelle, Michelle, uh, anything like that. So the best way to do all of these kind of things, okay, or Melissa or Maria, Matilda, Emily, every M, <laughs> okay. Um, but I definitely keep hearing this, like if I go back to my old ways and I go back to my old self and I go back to doing the old routine, then basically if that routine isn't working, then I need to network myself for things that are working. And that's requiring working with and for and connection of someone that can spiritually and mentally and physically help you get away from your past energy. Okay. So for what I am, what my spirit is saying for you, or I am, um, the, the channel name there, um, is is connection, that's the way you do it, that's the way you spiritually evolve, mentally evolve, physically evolve, that's the way you get up in life, and that's everything else, that's what gives you a lift, because the connection itself, when you form one, it heals you because you both interconnect with healing, but if you keep going back to your past, you undo the healing process, because you, it's like, you know, you've got a band-aid over, and you, you've took it off, and it's pretty much healed, and then you pretty much open old wounds and own, uh, your old scars, okay? So that's not, it's best not to really do that, okay? So if you can forget your past and you have moved away from your past, guys, 
then or past disguise to keep saying I've moved away from my past disguise I am no longer who I used to be I'm someone completely different Matthew so <laughs> I don't know what that is it's like I seem to be a new person so you really could be dealing with like a Scorpio placement somewhere and I seem to be like a completely new person like an, uh, a makeover or a look or something like that and um, someone's looking someone's very curious about looking for someone I don't know if someone's gone missing or gone AWOL. Someone's gone AWOL and they've gone missing. This came up in another reading somewhere. Someone keeps going AWOL, like they keep going off. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if this is someone that keeps going off with their ex or going off the person and then... See, if you're still dealing with exes and you haven't physically moved away from your past, y'all can't form a new connection because you will keep reliving old wounds. You know, that's, that's, that's the only way you ever survive spiritually and mentally and physically is by forming another connection. Because if you've had separation and then you go back, you undo the healing process of the past and then you relive it and realise it doesn't work. And then you have separation and then they come back and you allow them in. You haven't got any boundaries and then you undo the healing process. And definitely if they also communicate with you, you pretty much start thinking and feeling, oh shit, what's going on, blah, 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 so on and so forth. And you take on that amount of like pain so the only way you can ever really do that, you can't be friends with people from the past. If they're old relationships and stuff like that, y'all can't be friends. Because if you're friends, y'all can't be lovers. And if you can't be lovers, you can't be friends. Could have something to do around a Gemini maybe somewhere here. But yeah, y'all can't be, y'all can't be friends with ex-lovers. Because if you are, you'll just end up going back in the same cycle. Unfortunately, sometimes on Michael or Michelle, but sometimes it requires moving on. And if it does and you can, you form a new connection. If you go for the new connection, no matter what it is, and you, you require no amount of fear going forward with energies of knowing, okay, this is an opportunity for me, and it's there, and then you form the connection, that takes over the feeling within you to heal you is through a connection, okay? So for a lot of you, if you've moved away from your past energies, you're focused on the forward energy of going forward, there just needs to be this communication is what they're saying, okay? And as soon as that takes precedent over your life and you have time, because I'm hearing like, as soon as I have time, I will. So I don't know, is this divine time or physically finding it? I don't know, because I keep hearing this, as soon as I find time, I will. As soon as I can get back to you, I will. As soon as I can find the time to do it, I will. So someone could be really busy. I don't know what it is that's keeping someone a busy bee. I'm hearing busy bees. Busy bees? Someone could be ha have children here, uh, like CBBs, because I keep hearing CBBs, like, oh, well, that's British. That's British. Uh, CBB, which is, um, yeah, that is British, right? CBBs. ITV, um, British Broadcasts, uh, television, I don't know. But they keep saying CBBs, CBB, or someone that's called BB, or CBBs, which is to do with... Um, the television, television, tell, the name Telly or Terry, someone that's on the television. Hmm. I want my own TV, Stevie, Steve or TV. I want my own TV. Somebody wants to buy a television. Someone wants to buy their own television or they want a television screen. Sorry, my, my nose is really itching. Um, God, man. Someone, please tell me someone's not on heroin here. I don't know, because my nose is really itching. I don't know what that's for, but it doesn't normally get as, as bad as this. Someone got hay fever or someone keeps itching their nose. Or is this bewitched? <laughs> is it bewitched? I don't know. Um... Don't y'all guys start going off and ranting and raving about witchcraft. Raven, the name Raven. Don't start going on about witchcraft because it's all bullshit. Okay. Man, my nose is itching like huge. Um, what has Cancerian got? A fish. They're saying that you've caught a fish's attention. You've caught a fish's attention. Because they're saying, what have I got? And it feels like, what have I got? And something's landed. Like, I'm trying to land something. So Landon's is also a funeral pyre, Maya, Raya, but like um, a funeral pyre, Landon's. Well, they keep saying landing net, landing net. 
So that would also be uh, Jim Morrison, <laughs> Jim Jelly and Juice and Justin Jackie and Jasmine. But like um landing net. A safe safety net. So some of you are looking to, to like dream catch me when I fall. If you catch me, if I fall for you, will you catch me? Will you support me? There is something around support networking around a net and the or the name Annette or Inet or Ennet or in it or someone from London or something like that but like someone's like looking for a safety net someone that will support them here support them of a safety net networking some of you are looking to like publish a book or publish something that you've got like I want it publishing because it keeps saying like a safety net of a publisher or the punisher <laughs> punisher punisher is it Scorpio energy? Come here! Like Punisher. Punisher? Or Publisher. I'm looking to be published. So some of you might work as like a PA or a TA. TA, Tiana, T, T A, A, Abby, Alice. Alice! Alice! Um, or like T A A. T A A. T A A? The A A. Some of you might be going to meetings like Alcoholics Anonymous or Ali, the name Alison or Ali. <laughs> um, but like A A. Abigail? A and A. A and A. A A? A you right there, Steve. A he's electric. He's got a family full of eccentrics, but I need more time. Someone's like I need a bit more time. I just need a little bit more time. I need a little time. Some of you actually need time to put in cooking. Like, you know, the, the stuff. I'm also hearing fabric as well, fabricated fabric, like clothes. Um, so like clothes and, fab and uh, time, time and clothes. So not physical clothes, <laughs> take them off, but like <laughs> something like uh, clothes line, clothing line and stuff on, I mean, there's t-shirts there if you want to buy them guys. Uh, I've got to add to that actually, there's another one that I've got coming up. I don't dream when I'm asleep, I dream when I'm awake. Um, but um, yeah, I keep hearing clothes and time, as if someone's putting it in cooking. Clothes and time. Can you give me some time to take me clothes off? Well of course, Tyrone. Can you give me a little bit of time, I just need to take my clothes off. Okay, you know, I don't know bruv. <laughs> but I'm hearing, can you just take, can you give me a little bit of time? Somebody just needs a little bit of time to get over their ex or something. Can you just give me a little bit of time? Or can you give me some time? Meaning like, can I have your time? Like, can I talk with you? Can I have, like, is it all right to have some time with you, to spend some time with you? So you kind of got that. I don't know where your energies are coming from, but is it okay I have some time with you? Can I spend a bit of time with you? Can I spend some time talking with you? Do you want to spend some time? Something around spending time. Time is precious. And we need to spend a little bit of time together. That's all they keep saying, that we just need to spend a little bit of time together in order to be able to, I don't know, to work on something. Like we need to spend a little bit of time at least to go over something. We need to spend a bit of time. But they also keep saying give it, like give it a little bit of time. Is that spirit or yourselves? I don't know. They keep saying just give it a little bit more time. It's nearly ready. So it's either like a bun in the oven. It's either something that you have in the oven and you cook. I mean, me, I've been, I've, me to be honest with you, I've been on my diet since COVID. I've been absolutely, oh, it's so bad. But since karma is all finished and past is all finished, Man, it's surprising how well you feel and how better it is that you feel within yourself when you've ended karmic cycles. And uh, me, I'm, I'm a little bit of a connoisseur when it comes to actually cooking. And um, I, I think I told you about this before, Cancer, is that I make these uh, sin-free cookies. They're only sin-free if, if you ever look into weight and stuff. Um, but I do these sin-free cookies, but only if you don't have an healthy A or B. I don't know, or Abby, or Abigail, or A, anybody beginning with A or B. Or Abbott, same as me. <laughs> but like, um, like I, I do these cookies, which is, um, I ain't going to go into it again, but they're, they're only like, um, you, I make a whole thing of it, and it's kind of like five sins for the whole lot. If, because if you don't have your healthy A, 
you get those free, okay? But then if you've not had any sins at all, you can add more and then it's only like five sins. Because I struggle on my diet looking for something sweet to eat, <laughs> okay? Like a peach. But like, um, yeah, anyway. But I'm a bit of a connoisseur when it comes to cooking. As a lot of you know, normally in the chat, I normally say, sorry, but I'm in the oven cooking. Something, someone's cooking or something's in the oven or cooking up, something to do with music. Hopefully it's not crack. But like um, in the oven, unless you guys are pregnant and something is in the oven. But um, yeah, y'all could be on the same timeline as me as where you're cooking a lot of things in the oven. Time and um, stuff like that and adding like different amounts of flavorings to stuff or unless you work in a vape shop. But like, um, yeah, adding flavor. Flavor, flav. Can you do me a flavor or can you do me a favor? Somebody's going to ask you to do them a favour. I don't know what that is. Can you do me a favour? Because I can hear it. Do us a favour. <laughs> Hopefully that's not do us a favour and piss off. <laughs> well, like, uh, um, do us a favour. Does somebody ask you to do a lot of favours for them? I don't know. I keep getting mixed up between flavours and favours. Flavors, I'll do you a favor for a flavor. Hmm. Anyway, cancer. Will you come up majorly in uh, Gemini reading on this side if you're relating to any placement of Gemini? Because there was water all over the place. There was a king and a queen here, and there was an energy that wasn't so good here. Okay, so I don't know if that's relating with you guys or not. But let's see. So cancer. What's going on with cancer, please? So these are timeless. There you go. This actually did come up in this reading on this side in Gemini. And it was right here. And there was a queen and there was a king of cups. And it was well, no, a Pisces here, hangman, right here. And it was going between water signs. And this is a water sign, and this is yourselves, and this is the first card out. It's like I'm going between people. So I don't know if you've left your ex behind, and you're left, and you've like, right, I'm the fastest cake on earth, and I'm scone, and I'm out. And if you are, you're going towards something, okay? Because you're wanting something in return here. Now, if you are relating to any placement of six, which be a Gemini, Capricorn, or Life Path, okay, and you have it in your chart, or they do, it's in that reading of Gemini. <clears throat> because it's left the X here, because X was watching and felt finding out that someone's left and moved on and gone with another person. And it really seems as if you could have a big placement of Gemini somewhere. But here, it was all water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, King and the Queen of Cups with the Seven of Swords. So... If you are relating with that reading in any way, the X on this side was finding out that you have moved on, that you've moved away from the X energy. You've left and you're going towards someone else or something else or Steve or Stephen, but you're, you're going towards something else because it's like, no, I'm sorry, but I don't want the past back. The future is bright and that's where I'm headed. So I've headed out. So there is something around that I've left and I'm gone and I am headed towards something else, okay? And that would be a six, because it would be the six of swords that's here. This is also the Gemini, and that's why the six would be here. Six of swords. So that's what I'm saying. Jumping ship is a portal of spirituality, of healing, when you can get out of your past, if you can't get away from it and you can't heal properly, you go towards the future and you make another connection of six, and that's jumping ship. That's what people are asking me. Is, is how you learn spiritually, physically, mentally, get over your past and everything. You attach yourselves on to another energy and see how it goes to jump portals of ship of, uh, of ascension. Okay, so there is something of requiring someone's attention or someone's trying to get your attention here. It's like I'm trying to give you a single, a single, someone single here. And I'm trying to give you a signal, but I just need your attention. I need you to focus. You see, focus is also a seven. Focus is forward focus. If you can focus on forward energies, that's where you always leave the past behind. Might be a Libra that you might be leaving behind because that's a two. 
So you're leaving a Libra in the dust and you're going towards the future. Wow. So there you go. There's the six and there's the four of wands. So the six could be here. So that's where you're headed in the card looking as if it's going that way. But that's the, the card after, which is six of swords. So you could be dealing with that Gemini placement or maybe Capricorn. But where you're headed is into, well, I'll have to say it's up to you. <coughs> you're either getting married in a relationship or going and jumping ship spiritually into another commitment of another person. Right? But um, if you're with a person that keeps being very flaky in different relationships and going to and from and leaving you and coming back and you keep allowing them, then you need to learn about your life path number and have boundaries of a seven of wands and say no. Because until you can, this person will just keep coming in and out of your life until you can say no. Okay. So it's temptation. Because if you don't trust the person and the trust is gone, why on earth it is that people stay with people they don't trust, I've got no idea. Okay. So it can be fearing of leaving your past behind. But for the majority of you, I really do feel that you have left and you have gone and you've finished. And you're looking to jump relationship to another connection to form one, which is here, which is ready for a relationship. This could be someone that's very stable in life and very successful. It could also be a Scorpio placement, which would be a four, okay? Life path four or an energy of Scorpio that would also come up as an Aries in any port. Port, Port, Porter, Porsche, Porsche, Michel, Porsche. Um, yeah, some of you, it's a distance though here. It's a distance. Some of you might be considering relocating, relocating, because if like, say if you're in a dead end town and where you are, there is no work there or wherever it is that you are and there doesn't seem to be much going on and you can't network in the place that you are, it might require you moving or visiting, visiting family, visiting parents, visiting work, visiting a person. But if it isn't, and it's an energy of like relocation, if you're in a place where you've constantly tried in order to be able to like make something of yourselves of what you want to do as a legacy, you can only ever do a legacy with work, with hard work and determination, okay? People in life can support you doing that if you meet the right connection because they will support you no matter what you have about you. If you're honest, you meet people that will support you in life because it can be a great support network, okay? So if you are looking to jump ship, relationship, there, there it is, it's here. If you are looking to relocate because of where you are, there is not much work, there is nothing really going on, so on and so forth, you might be considering physically relocating and either one packing up all of your stuff or moving, and if it isn't, it's more of a visit. Now, if you have a person that is in prison and you've constantly gone through something with a person that's in prison, this is basically not trusting the person, but you're trying to get into prison here. You're, you're, well, you could be facing prison. It depends on what the fuck it is that you're doing here. But, because that's facing a sentence, right? But, because that could be divorced and I've left and I am divorced. It can also be kicking someone out of your energy, which means that if someone is at home in the my four of wands, in order to be able to meet other people, if this person lives at the Four of Wands, they're hindering your process of meeting someone else in your energy. Now, they're either physically in your life or metaphysically in your life. That's up to you. you, you, you can, I mean, I'm not going to look at the metaphysical side because I'm kind of thinking that for a lot of you, you could have just kicked someone to the curb or you could have just been told to get out yourselves. Okay. Um, and that might be why you're looking for somewhere to relocate. Now, if you're not, and you are still, it could be something to do with a Pisces, Pisces <laughs> or a Piscean here, but if not, and there's, you're not being kicked out, you could have well have told this person to leave because it's stopping you from your relationship of what you want. So if you live on top of one another and you're just constantly just like really not being able to find the true 
person that is committed to material like because this this might be someone that's flaky and it might be someone that's really not serious about the relationship that you're definitely in and it might not be serious around like I want a relationship I just want a partnership for instance like I just want someone to partner up with if it's an old person and you've constantly gone through this all the time then what they're looking for is more of a friend or a partnership than what it is an actual relationship and that may or may not be what you want here if that's an old person if it be a new one and that is where you're headed you are headed towards this four of wands if you have left your past behind that is where you're that is what you're looking for here okay some of you do have children and some of you do have that with a person that is in prison and you're just waiting for that sentence to be over okay but yeah Some of you, this is a work contract that you're in that you don't want to be in. You want something more, like there has to be more out there. Because this seven is very curious about there's got to be someone out there for me and there's got to be someone that wants the same thing as what I do about something that is serious here. Because the four of wands can always be a very good stable network because the four would also grab it with both hands and hold on to it. And it would also be very stable in life of someone that would hold on as a four of pentacles. So it could be someone that's very financially able and stable to support another here. Because if you're not getting any support from where you are at all, physically, mentally or even within money, that someone does not support the children, then there might be someone that is there for you that does not mind the fact that you have children, which would be a six, because it would be a stable, uh, loyal character of four here. So some of you, you really could be going towards an energy of Gemini or Capricorn, but I'm thinking Gemini, and a four, which would be a Scorpio. Uh, what have we done? Third one. Uh, let's see on the other side, on the other side. Two, Libra, possible. Four and two, four, five, six. There's still an energy of also Gemini here. So it's kind of like someone on this side is just waiting to see what you do. They're just kind of waiting to see what your choice is, right? Are you available or are you not? Are you with someone or are you not? Are you coming or are you not? Are you communicating or are you not? Is this your, is this a Piscean energy here? Um, if this is your ex, for some reason I don't think it is. I think a lot of you are just kind of like finished with all of that. And you're just sort of like waiting for this person to communicate about this four of wands. About either relocation or about visiting too. But if you are dealing with that Gemini, y'all really need to... Because if you're relating with your Gemini energy more, you really need to watch the extended on Patreon there. Because that was a very good outcome for one, and really not a good outcome for the other side. Like, it, it wasn't. Like, it was someone that was curious and finding out the fact that someone had gone off into another relationship of this Four of Wands. Because they weren't serious. Show me Kent's other side. Yeah, so someone isn't speaking. As one reading, you could have children and you're, you're like taking a wise step. It's like, well, I have children and I have to make the right decision. But if that's like, do I take my ex back and stuff and I have got children with that person? Like I said, if you're married, some people said, you know, <laughs> I'm dealing with my ex that I have children with. How about any advice around that? Get a fucking divorce. That does not mean that you have to communicate with your person that you have children with. If they cause you that much, then that means you need evidence, not karmic law evidence. You need evidence and you need to put blocks in place to keep the person out of your life. No communication. Okay, that's the only way you do it. No communication. You cannot be friends with someone that loves you that doesn't love you. You know, If you love them and they don't love you, there's no point. Okay, so... Someone here has gone their own way and you've pretty much gone yours because it, it's like you're trying to separate here. That's what it feels like, that you're trying to separate away from this energy. And some of you are looking to separate to go towards something new. 
And this person has also gone their own way, and that's the decision of what they've just decided as well, is that you go in your corner and I'll go in mine, and we'll go on our own ways again. Okay? Which means that you might be looking to jump ship to a person that is worthy of what you want, as what they want, and this person couldn't make up their mind of what they wanted, so they've gone off towards <laughs> the other side of the earth, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Um, the other side, what's... Cancerian's person going through on the other side for Cancerian's other person. Ten of Cups, Pisces. Uh, what is going on here? It feels like that this person's gone off from your past to be happy, and you've gone off your way to be happy, right? If not, and this is one reading, someone's waiting for communication. That like they're waiting for communication. Because there's single energy here, there's single energy, and there's also X marks the spot as well. But the trouble is, if you're relating with that Gemini energy, and your ex, or even your future partner has uh, Pisces in their chart, which is this 10, and it's a new person here with the page of ones that can be a new person, that kind of came up in the Gemini energy this side, because there was water all over the place, like there was water all over the place. Pisces, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer Sport, you know, King and Queen, and also uh, the Hangman. And it's here. So I don't know if any of you have like this compatibility with your ex as well as your future, if you're looking for someone new. The new partner has the same energy as the past. <laughs> what? Because you've also got six of wands, which is like a Capricorn or a Gemini, here. So there's some kind of like paradox energy of, because none of this really looks like a stable commitment, but it kind of does with new here, because that's new, that's new, that's left for someone new, that's looking for someone new to go into the four of wands, and this is kind of like your ex as your future partner, all at the same time in one reading, if you know what I mean. That's the only thing I can make Edna tell of. Because if not, and you're not going into a new relationship, you're basically split up with your past and you've gone your separate ways. Here. Because if someone has children with another person, they keep going off towards this Ten of Cups with another person. And they may not be telling you about it. I mean, if they don't, and you, or, I mean, if fucking hell, if you already know, Y'all should have left, which is probably why you did here. Because they keep going off to this four of wands with sticking their bingo dollar somewhere else, which is not loyal or Laura. Someone here has got a friend in need as a friend in deed with a friend with weed. <laughs> like I'm looking for some support because I need... See, I keep picking up, like, I need some support and I need some help to get over my past. Well, that's why you go towards this energy. Because you heal through connection. As soon as this connection is made, it heals you through a Ten of Cups energy. Because it gives you prosperity and it gives you hope, okay, of a true connection of the Ten of Cups. Because the Ten of Cups can be a one and it can also be a ten. So... It's kind of like someone's desiring a new connection with a new person, but I just can't tell at the moment if that's what is right here, right now. Okay? So, because there seems to be this waiting energy. And in, in like, anticipating, thinking. Okay? So that's what I've got for you so far. Uh, thank you, Cancer. If you want to join, uh, it will only be on the full access bundle, but there's quite a few messages in the other ones. Uh, but if you want to join, it's only the full access bundle. Again, as normal, uh, if you're on the first tier, which is like $3, I think, on the first tier, you get your monthly, and um, <laughs> pretty much like a woman's cycle, really. Or you get herpes or something like that, I don't know. But like, uh, yeah, on tier one is pretty much where you just get the monthlies, but you also get the general collective readings that also go there. And then the full access bundle is everything, which is general specific star signs, of weeklies and monthlies and the collective readings as well so if you want weeklies you'll need the full access bundle there that's where this will be please make sure you follow angel radio and the music station that i also run on the other channel and also on this one 
And uh, phew, I will hopefully catch you on the other side, cancer.